Reporting to you live here at Jurassic Valley on the Kualoa Ranch in Hawaii. It's live from last week, episode 154. Let's go! Welcome, you, my fellow chairwalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, after waking up after one of the best sleeps I've had all week, before the sunrise, I caught the big full moon off in the distance. As well as after the sunrise, these birds putting a air show on for me with the full moon in the background. As for today, the wife and I stayed in all day watching a little bit of some Earth Cam videos. Then this new Netflix movie called Leo starring Adam Sandler, which was pretty funny and a movie I would definitely recommend. And afterwards, while editing videos, spending some quality time with the wife, we decided to do something together, which she really likes. Watching a new K-drama reality show called Love Like a K-drama. But now, on to the birthday greetings of the day. With the first birthday shout out, going out to the nephew Gabby's mom. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alba. Happy birthday, Alba. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my classmates in university, who was one of us with the boys. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jaren. Happy birthday, Jaren. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my cousins in the States, who always rocks it on the mic when we do karaoke. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jordan. Happy birthday, Jordan. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, earlier today, spending time at the CPKC Lambden Yard, after once again getting notice from my beach volleyball buddy, Rob, about this event, I took the wife and one of her friends, G, to go check out the CPKC Canadian Holiday Train. After that fun but very crowded event watching the holiday train last night, we drove in this romantic Toronto snowfall weather. After going to the nearby Toronto Pho location for some huge and delicious bowls of Vietnamese pho with G before wrapping up the night. Now on to today where I woke up after a 5 hour nap. I saw on Facebook marketplace a steal of a deal of this authentic Blue Jays jersey for only Thirty-five bucks. So I headed out while putting on a language learning app in the mini, practicing a bit of my Spanish in the car. Arbol de la Navidad, cena de la Navidad. Then picking up this authentic jersey to add to my collection. And next, for lunch, I stopped by a place that I've always wanted to go to but never stopped by, to the local butter chicken roti to try out some of their food specials here. But anyways, before I move on, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my sister's friends who lives in Western Canada. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. We next got a birthday greeting to one of the wife's friends who I'm remembering going to All You Can Eat Sushi with several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alquin. Happy birthday, Alquin. 
We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my classmates who I'm remembering graduating with back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gemma. Happy birthday, Gemma. Next on the docket, we've got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who you guys know has made several Jay Walker POV appearances in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Liza. Happy birthday, Liza. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my cousins who you guys know we went to VR with last week and who's also made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Faye. Happy birthday, Faye. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Speaking of which, that exact cousin Faye did a birthday shout out to me for my birthday in the same style that I deliver birthday shout outs to you guys out there. And so, in special honor of her of doing that special greeting for me, here is my version of me acting out that special greeting for you guys. Before you start your night shift, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins who I've known all his life. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jeremiah. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. I'm hoping at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration during your night shift while me and your favorite cousins and nieces celebrate your birthday at the starting from scratch party that I wanted to take you to for your birthday this year. So going back to a couple weeks ago, where after coming off our Mexico trip, I had this to say. But now, on to today, where the wife and I are already spending the whole day trying to plan our next possible trip. Well, the wife and I, while doing research on this location that we've always wanted to go to, found out that that area has horrible flash flooding warnings in the area that quite possibly may affect our travels now that we booked this trip. So after waking up, leaving the condo at around 5 a.m., although in the darkness this morning, I had one of my first experiences. We had our first ever opportunity to ride in a Tesla. And I don't know if you guys can see my reaction here, but it was definitely a five-star experience nonetheless. Bye, Tesla. Hello, Pearson. And guys, another first that I experienced earlier today was getting treated by the wife to stay in the Toronto Pearson Plaza Premium Lounge where we were able to take in a couple of dishes of breakfast because I was just starving as well as complimentary Caesars to drink at the bar at the early happy hour of 6.30 in the morning before getting on our plane for this beautiful sunrise in the background to fly out on a 15 hour journey and arrive here in Hawaii. Aloha. So first of all, I wanted to welcome you guys to the month of December. Happy December, guys. And speaking of today, December 1st, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my Titos out there who has made several appearances in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tito Jun. Happy birthday Tito Jun. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So moving on with a fun thing that happened on my flight from San Francisco to Hawaii yesterday. When I looked at the airplane seat right beside me that was labeled seat inoperative, do not occupy, I was pretty convinced that if somebody actually sat there, it would toss that passenger out of the airplane because pretty much that seat was an ejection seat. But anyways, once we landed into Hawaii last night, we were able to book a car rental that was supposed to be in the compact car category, thinking that it would either be a Ford Focus or a Kia Rio. But when we got to the car rental agency, this was the car that they said was waiting for us. 
Woo! Another first time driving a Mustang. <laughs> and after driving at night the highways of Honolulu, we quickly checked into our accommodations, looked for some food around the area to eat, stopping by this outdoor food area called Blue Ocean to get some delicious garlic shrimp, beef galbi, and fries. And after enjoying that delicious meal, we went back to the hotel room to pass out around midnight. Where after less than four hours of sleep, guess who woke up around 3.45 in the morning just for you guys? In order to upload live from last week, episode 153, In the Dark, for its release at 9 a.m. Toronto time. But yeah, after staying up a couple of hours until the wife woke up, we started the day going to the local Musube Cafe for breakfast. Okay. Yummy, I'll take it out so you can see. One, two, three, cheers! Before walking around, seeing the sights in the area in the rain, then going on an adventure, driving around and exploring the whole island of Oahu. <laughs> After wrapping up the day going to numerous hot spots around the island, including checking off things off our bucket list like going to the North Shore and watching some surfing. Thank you, baby. Nice. And getting this salmon tuna bluefin pokeball from the local nearby Maguro spot. We caught one of the best and most beautiful sunsets that I've ever seen on the beaches of Waikiki. Wow, the sunsets in Oahu. We also went shopping for one of my cousins who wanted to get a special limited edition Honolulu shirt from a specific store here. Oh my god, you guys want me to line up for this? You guys owe me. Anyways, today, trying to catch the beautiful Honolulu sunrise, but with my tropical luck not getting it properly because of the cloud cover in the area, we'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there in university who I last saw in a previous Laugh From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Izzy. Happy birthday, Izzy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, another bucket list thing that we're planning to do while we're here in Hawaii is to check out the site where they filmed one of my favorite movies, Jurassic Park. We're off today to go to the world famous Kua Loa Ranch.
Guys, what a fun and amazing tour of doing the must do while you're here movie memorabilia excursion at the Kualua Ranch yesterday. And not believing that it's already been 24 hours since I was last here on the beaches of Waikiki. This time trying to catch another Honolulu sunrise before 7 a.m. Watching some early morning surfers in the background. But anyways, continuing with the events of yesterday. For lunch on a recommendation by our cousins. We stopped by the famous Giovanni's shrimp truck up in North Shore to enjoy the specialty scampi shrimp dish with the wife of which we both thought was a must eat while you're here in Hawaii. We then went to the Turtle Bay Resort to relax on the beach for a little bit, try to take a quick midday nap and such, before we went to another spot in the area to watch some elite surfers catch some big waves in the world famous waters of the North Shore. We then made our way to the secret secluded area, which in the past was meant for offerings and sacrifices, getting this nice lookout view of Waimea Bay in the distance. We next went to another must visit place while here on the island, the famous Dole Plantation, where we went to their plantation garden for a nice short self-guided tour, having fun taking pictures and videos at this place, especially of their cute baby pineapples and a tasting of their nice cold specialty treat that everybody should try while they're here, which we know as Dole Whip. Ooh, our first ever Dole Whip. Cheers. Oh, very good. Mmm. Definitely do this when they're in Hawaii. Let's go. And afterwards, we had made a trek to the west part of the island to walk around the several Koolina lagoons that they have here, catching several beautiful scenic views in and around the area, having a couple of wild mongoose sightings as well, take a quick little dip in the water here, while trying to catch another Hawaiian sunset slowly go down in the background. But moving on, after getting a pretty decent sleep last night, it's time to wake up the wife for our day three of our Hawaiian trip and see what we're up to today. As I'm walking down a trail at a local attraction, we'll just recap yesterday as it was a pretty blessed day. Starting it out by going to this beautiful Hawaiian Catholic Mass at St. Augustine by the Sea Catholic Church. Then walking down to the local Honolulu Cafe to try their iced all Hawaiian latte with coconut milk. It's good. Oh, it's good? Yeah. Coconut milk. Then renting my first ever surfboard to take up to North Shore, but not before taking a couple of photo ops along the way. We were also able to do a bucket list item, another must do while you're on the North Shore of Oahu, hitting up the local Laniakea Beach, a place where the wife and I actually spent over an hour here observing wild animals such as this resting monk seal who entertained us while he was sunbathing along the beach, as well as the world famous turtles, of whom we caught not just one of them, but here with a second one who made their way onto the beach sand, swimming in 
from the water. And after saying bye bye to these animals and this beautiful beach, we took my freshly rented surfboard and headed ourselves all the way to the world famous Bunzai Pipeline to surf the enormous 30 foot swells here with the wife actually catching a couple of videos of me riding these waves from a distance. Thanks for these amazing videos, wife. Slight disclaimer, that's what I would have said if I was actually one of those people out on the water yesterday. But after seeing how dangerous the currents and these large waves were, I was definitely not going to risk my life being an amateur surfer out there. But what we did do was drive back to the Waikiki beach where the waves were much, much more tamer and try my luck surfing in these calmer conditions. And with me even getting some GoPro action while I was on the surfboard. And although I wasn't that successful jumping up on the surfboard yesterday evening, I was able to catch the sunset while I was in the water and have the wife snap a couple of photos of how I wrapped up the night. But on to our activities of today. Getting up after a five and a half hour sleep, we woke up early while the sun wasn't even out yet to make our way to the Diamond Head State Monument for an early morning hike to yet another beautiful Hawaiian sunrise, which is definitely a bucket list item while you're here, as well as other things that you have to wait until next week's episode to find out. And so with that, we'll wrap up our first half of our trip here in Hawaii and this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what we've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And now on the easternmost point of Oahu at the Makapu'u Lighthouse, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.